Okay, so if you're watching this, you've hopefully downloaded my uh, low poly drivable vehicles asset package for Unity. Uh, if not, then um, this is a tutorial video on how to set it up, basically. Um, so yeah, thank you for downloading it to start off with. And in this video, I'm just going to show how to get the the asset package in the state that it was in the uh, trailer video because it uses some standard assets which you actually can't import with the asset package from Unity 3D. So I'm just going to show you here in this video how to import them into your game and get it working basically so it's like this. So you're able to spawn in and walk around a character and actually be able to get in and out of the vehicles, right? And get out of them. Because in a minute I'll show you, right when you bring in the package, it's not like that. You're not able to get in and out of the vehicles just like that. So I'm just going to roll back to how it is, how it should look like for you. Okay, so when you first import the package uh, into Unity, which hopefully you know how to do, um, you should be able to go to Asset Store and uh, go up here to this thing right here. You see my mouse? Uh, this button right here. And then you would be able to find it in the list here. And you would find it and then you would click Download and Import, okay? So let's just go back to our scene here. By the way, to open this, you go up here to Window Asset Store. And that basically opens it. For me, it's already open. Um, and also, just if your layout doesn't look like this, in the top right here, you go to Layout, and uh, I think it's 2 by 3 Yeah. It's probably at the default for you, it, whatever layout. So it's 2 by 3 for me. Um, okay, so basically, you basically should, there should be a readme file in the main folder here that imports. Um, Ignore this folder here, that's for me. Um, and if you open this readme file, it'll open in probably model develop or whatever editor you use for coding. It uh, says the recommended standard assets, or it should say, and you're gonna need characters uh, slash first person controller, cross platforming and utility. Uh, you technically don't need those, but that you won't be able to drive around, if you know what I mean. You'll have to, here when you click play, You'll have to manually go under cars here. Uh, let's say we want to drive the police car. You'll have to click on the police car. We'll have to check over here in the vehicle controller uh, in vehicle. And then you'll have to turn off the main camera in your scene. And then you'll be driving the vehicle, right? So if you're just doing a racing game where you don't want to be able to get in and out of the vehicle, that uh, this is perfect. You just have to make a script to uh, disable and enable whether you're driving the car and stuff like that. Uh, but that's up to you. But so in order to get it so an FPS controller is working, we're going to have to first import the standard assets that is again in this readme file, characters, cross uh, platform input, and utility. So in order to do that, again, we're going to go to the asset store, which again, to open it, you go up here to window, uh, asset store. And then basically you just go in the search bar here and search Unity standard assets and that should be uh the first one or the second one just get the one that says standard assets just like that okay open it to do and click import and that's going to import it into unity here And then once that's finished, this is all going to be up here. So we're literally just going to uncheck a whole bunch of things. So we're going to uncheck sample scenes. We don't need that. We're going to uncheck 2D. We don't need that. We're going to uncheck cameras. We don't need that. Characters we do need, but we only need the first person uh, character. So we're going to uncheck rollerball and third person camera. We need cross platform input. So we're just going to bring all that in. Editor, uh, we do not need, so we're going to uncheck that. Effects, we do not need. Environment, we do not need. Fonts, no. Particle systems, no. No. Prototyping, no. Utility, we need. And everything else, we don't need. Okay, so we just need these things. We need uh, characters, first person character, and cross platform input, and utilities. Everything else you can uncheck, or else it'll take forever to import. Okay, so then we click import in the bottom right there. Okay, so now I went back to scene there. Now you can see here it creates a folder standard assets. And we're going to go under characters, first person controller. We're going to go to prefabs, 
and we're going to go to the normal first person controller. We're going to drag him in our scene here, anywhere, just drag him right here, and then move him up so we can he can see the scene a little bit better. Rotate him 180 on the Y, bring him back a little bit. Boom. So now he's going to spawn in here, and when we click play, this happens because uh, you actually have to, oh, one sec, you have to turn off this camera here. There, now it's uh, the first person controller camera. Now when we click play, you're in here walking around. Okay, perfect. So that's that part, but now we have to actually get the getting in and out of the vehicles working. So for that, we're going to have to edit a script. Um, I'm actually going to turn down the volume on these steps. They're kind of loud. I'm just going to put the volume on the audio source on the first person controller down to 0, 0 0.0 or 0 0.1. Um, and so we have to edit a script and then put a script on here. So under the low poly vehicles, go to scripts and player look, put it on the first person character, the camera. And then we're going to give it uh, the cam, which is just this game object, the first person controller, which is uh, the FPS controller game object. And then the player UI is under the canvas player UI, drag that in. And then uh, you have to open the player look camera. Uh, or player look, sorry, in your script editor, and we have to just remove some comments. So we, at the very top here, you have to remove the comment for using standard assets dot characters dot first person, and then remove the comments here uh, on line thirty eight, and the line sixty two. Remove the comments because now the standard assets are in your project. So before, if I didn't have the comments there, it would create an error. So now, I think everything should be working. So now when you click play, you spawn in as a person here in the bottom left, my guy. Let's actually make the window really big. Spawn in as a person and you're able to get in the car and drive it, change your camera, get out of the car, get in another car and drive it and so on. So yeah, that's how to get the FPS controller working with my low pulley travel book cars asset package for Unity 3D. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this showed you how to do it properly. If you have any problems, uh, leave it in the comments down below or yes, contact me somehow. I'll figure out how to help you. So yeah, thank you very much.